Hi guys, I'm very excited to present Mark's new MTG. MTG stands for Mind the Gap and it's an automatic dialogue editing assistant. Let me show you how it works. Usually you would start using the MTG after you have finished your dialogue recording and you would want to use it as the first instance in your plug and chain. The reason is because you don't want to have any level or sound changes from an EQ before you take the room tone because you want the room tone of the MTG which is automatically filled in be equivalent to the room tone of your audio recording. So you first would do editing and get rid of the stuff you don't want to have and create gaps and then you would fill it in with the MTG and Afterwards, you would do the EQing and compression limiting, etc. First, you would want to record the room tone and you have two possibilities for that. One possibility would be to take it directly from your microphone input. So if I open my microphone input here and I click record, I am prompted to give it a name and I would give it the name FT room tone one bam I hit stop and you can see right away that I said hit stop here and you can get rid of that so that you have a clean room tone and at the beginning you can also see that we have something uh, we don't want to have. So basically now I switch off the input because otherwise because it's the MTG is inserted in this channel I just would hear uh, the input of the channel and not the MTG but now I can play the room tone to verify if it's clean. Yes, wonderful. It is actually clean, it's looping clean, so this is something to start with. The other alternative is to take the room tone sample directly from your dialogue recording, as I have done it here. So if I hit record again, I can give it another name, room tone 2, and usually I would give it more explanatory names like uh, mentioning the microphone I've used and the mic pre etc so that you can build your own library of room tones if you have trouble finding a good sample from your dialogue recording. Okay and you can see the input is waiting for audio and now I need to hit play at the DAW and I can continue to speak because I'm not recording the microphone any longer and then I hit stop and it automatically stops and now we have another clean room tone which is possibly better here let me verify quickly by the way you can when you have very long room tones for television productions possibly background noises from street noises or whatsoever atmospheres ambiences um, yeah you have an easier time to play around here with a play hat Yeah, works perfectly so we can continue. Okay guys in order to save you some time I've made a few edits here quickly of this sample dialogue recording and I figured out from my own that usually I would want to do it manually because it's pretty hard for a gate to distinguish between lip noises which are unwanted and lip noises which are required in order to uh, make an ending of a word or something like that. So the only important thing is that you kind of mute the stuff you don't want to have or you simply delete it in order to have a digital black at that spot so that the MTG can fill in the room tone. And if I hit play now... Hi guys, I'm very excited to present Mart's new MTG. MTG stands for Mind the Gap and it's an automatic dialogue editing assistant. 
Let me show you how it works. This is pretty much how it works. So you can see here the chunks which are filled in and this is the other stuff. So you could also see as soon as I hit the play button the display changes to this mode where you get the audio display you are listening to and the, the gaps. And if you want to go to editing you can do it manually but as soon as I hit play it jumps automatically quickly back. So uh, there are just a very few other options like zoom and the zoom is kind of designed in a way that you have an emphasis to this low level area where you have your room tone so that you get a good sense of aligning the room tone with your natural room tone of the recording. Usually if you use it as the first plug-in and the chain you can leave the bias at zero but if you have done some some things so to say and your room tone is plain uh, you would want to adjust the level of your room tone sample to your recording. Okay that's basically everything about the MTG. It's a pretty simple and intuitive tool but it will save you tons of time of annoying editing work. Actually the idea came up for this tool already I think eight or nine years ago when I had to deal with tons of dialogue editing and I got tired about this manually uh, yeah, putting in good room tone samples to make it sound natural. So I'm very happy that we are now here with the MTG for you. Have fun using it. Bye.